Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm mostly going to be card making by the seat of my pants and by that I mean I've got a very vague idea of a way to start a card and I'm just going to see where it goes and take you along on the journey. So I hope you enjoy that kind of approach. The first thing I'm going to do is take some spun sugar, distress oxide, and blend it from the bottom upwards on this piece of smooth white cardstock. Spun sugar is a very, very, very light colour, so it can take quite a long time to build up a visible layer of it on your card. One thing it's really good for is fading your colour into white. I want to keep the top portion of this panel white so I'm gonna let the spun sugar fade out around here. So I think that will do. We've got white up here, a very faint blush around this region, and then it gets a bit more intense as we get near the bottom. Next, I'm going to bring in some salt water taffy, distress oxide. And this is a stronger colour. It doesn't take quite such a long time to build up a good blend of it or layer of it. But again, I want that to kind of fade out into the sponge sugar be stronger down the bottom here. I can also bring my sponge sugar back in and blend over that area there where the two colours kind of meet. Now I just want to have a look at that and see if I'm happy with it. I think I want a bit more colour in this area. And finally, I've got some warm lipstick. I'm just going to take a small amount of this and blend in from the bottom to give a bit of a darker bottom edge. And I can also add a bit more salt water taffy to blend the two colours together a bit. I think that will do. I want to do some stamping on the bottom portion of my card panel here and I want the stamping to come off the panel down the bottom and off the side so I put this little one inch thick strip here to act as a kind of fake edge so that if when I stamp this shifts I can butt it up against this edge again you'll see what I mean once we get going so I want this stamp here to come in as you can see from the side and from the bottom I think like that pop that magnet there to hold it down and now I'm going to use picked raspberry which is a darker pink again and hopefully this will show up on all the different pinks of my background Yep, so that shows up. I do think it needs a second coating. Just make sure this is right up against there again. So I can take that out now and use the actual edge. And now I'm going to add a whole bunch of different stamped leafy images along here. These are all from different stamp sets. I do tend to break up stamp sets and keep like with like, so I'll keep all my leafy branchy stamp sets together, all my flowers together, all my butterflies together, because that's how my brain works. I have to have things in categories rather than in the way they came from the shop. Right, some of them 
will need stamping individually because they're not as thick as the others or as sticky. So I'm going to do a couple at a time. Some of these are photopolymer stamps on the silicon, so some stamp better than others with distress oxides, but we'll give them all a go. add another one of these here just to fill in a little gap I think maybe like that make it look a little fuller this is going to go on a five by seven inch card blank so I want to take a little bit off all four sides so that I get a little white border but before I stick this down I want to die cut the word hello from it so this is going to go on here like this these little dies in fact, actually, what I'm going to do is do this on a separate piece of paper. So I've cut H, E and L, and they're looking good. Obviously, I need another L. So I'm going to leave those in there, use my T-square ruler, to get a straight line there and then I'm going to add my dies like that the L and the O and hopefully that will all be in a straight line we don't need the H and the E we can take us off and take those out keep those somewhere safe for another card and that looks good to me what I'm going to do is cut this down a bit And now I can use this to decide where I want to cut my hello from. So I'm thinking maybe off here to the left, like this, like that, nice and straight. And now I can put my dies back in. So as I say, I'm going to use a fresh post-it to stick on the letters, stick that there, and now I can hinge that up, take those off, and they should be in the right place. Now I can carefully remove the post-it. At the moment I'm thinking about doing an eclipse card, so I'm going to save my letters. Although I might actually put the white letters in, I'm not sure. I'll have a think. So now I can put this back on here. Put my, get that lined up properly. Put my L in there. I'm going to use a fresh post-it. Create my little hinge. That looks like it's in the right place. And we will cut the L. Yeah. I'm going to put that directly on my card blank when I find my glue. To stick my card panel to the front of my card, I'm going to use some tacky glue, not too much because I don't want the front of my card to bobble up. I'm not 100% sure what direction this is going in whether it is going to be an eclipse card or whether I'm just going to inlay some white card or maybe some gold glitter card or something like that. 
but I do know that I want that middle bit of the O back in. So that's there like that. So we could inlay the white letters like that. I am thinking not an eclipse card because I think it needs something different there, but I could do it in gold. Let's cut some gold letters and see what that looks like. Yes, I'm liking that. I think gold, but I do want to raise them up. So I'm going to add glue to all these other letters that I've cut. I'll start with the pink ones. Stick it back in its little aperture and get the white one. Pop that on top like that. Make sure it's all lined up nicely. And press it down with a bit of deli paper and then get the gold. So I'll do the rest of the letters in the same way, but I just wanted to note that now I've decided to do it this way with gold letters rather than doing an eclipse card. I didn't actually need to cut the letters out of the front of the panel. I could have just cut some gold foiled cardstock and stuck them on top. But like I say, this is crafting by the seat of my pants. So I don't necessarily know what decisions I'm gonna make or how I'm gonna change my mind like I've done with this card. If you get glue on your foiled cardstock, don't worry, if you've got a damp baby wipe, you can just wipe it off. Right, I'll come back to you when I finish this. So there we go, my gold letters are all stuck down now and I think the card is more or less finished. I did think about sticking some gold circles on it, but I don't want to add any more gold. I think the sentiment needs to be the the pop of gold, but I am gonna add some white Nouveau drops just around the sentiment area. Now these won't stay white. These will absorb the color of the water reactive inks beneath them. So these will gradually over time, while they're setting, they will turn pink but they'll turn different shades of pink depending on where they are, which I think will be a really nice effect. So I'm gonna leave that to dry. I'm just thinking if I want anything else, maybe, maybe one there. I'm gonna leave that for now and come back to it and see if it needs any more, but I don't think it does. Right, that's this card done. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and maybe it's given you a bit of confidence to craft by the seat of your pants too. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.